Hello YouTube, this is Black Barney Ice. Today I will be showing you how to make custom boot logos for your iPod, such as this one. Sorry, my button is kind of messed up. There you go. I did not do this while jailbreaking it. I actually made this while it was jailbroken. And during this video I will also be switching between webcam and screen record for both quality and for, for you to see what ha what happens during this. You are going to need, well first off, if you already have a jailbroken iPod, you are going to actually need to re-jailbreak it. But the good thing about this one is that you can re-jailbreak your iPod and keep everything you have. Cydia stuff, all of that, all everything you have on your iPod right now will be there. If you want me to prove it, then I will be showing it right at right after this video clip right here. I will show you everything I have on my iPod. So first you go to Google Red Snow. Or actually I will have this download link in the description. And you should see beta clock says what? 0 0.3. Download for Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows. Just click on one of these. You will need to have a torrent um, application such as uTorrent. Then just download that application. Once you're done, you should have a file called Red Snow right there. And all I have to do, I am actually going to re-jailbreak my iPod because, like I said, everything remains the same. So all you need to do is click here, and it says either connect your iPod in DFU mode to the computer, or just push Enter for assisted entry into DFU mode. So basically, if you know how to put it into DFU mode, you can do that. If you don't, then it has the step-by-step -step instructions. Follow the next steps carefully, like it says. This is going to be kind of hard. I'll be switching between my iPod and this screen. I don't know how this is going to come out, but here it goes. Okay, so I've actually decided to be recording with my webcam for this part. I don't know how well you can see this since I cannot see what I'm recording, but okay. I'm gonna have to put my camera down. Okay, so hit any key to continue. Oops. Hold down the top left. Okay, first you need to power it off. I forgot to do that. This could be a problem. Then it says without really hold it down, hold down the hold and home button for two seconds without releasing the hold button. Hold it down for nine, some amount of time. And it automatically detects as soon as your iPod is in DFU mode. Okay, I think it's being a little wishy. As you can see, your iPod screen should be white. You can see here, killing iTunes, waiting for DFU device, uploading first stage. Waiting for reboot. Your iPod should just reboot right there real fast, and iTunes should come back up. Which gets annoying. Then you have uploading logo, which is the default logo. Uploading RAM disk, which takes the longest. And during this time, you should see this on your iPod. Downloading jailbreak data with this little icon right here. So it is still uploading the RAM disk. Okay, device tree, kernel. All this time your screen should still look like that. And now, as you can see, it is done. Right now, I will probably cut this out of the video, but your iPod should start should still have this screen. Now it should have a little pineapple, the pone apple as it is called. And it should say Flashing NOR. 
I'm not sure if you have to have your iPod plugged, it, plugged up for this, but Red Snow does not seem to be running anymore. So you have that. Still flashing. Installing bundles. I believe this is just Cydia. This does not come with installer, but if you had installed previously on your iPod, you will get to keep it. Like I said, you get to keep everything. Syncing file system. It's almost done. Rebooting. Now as you can see it has a default Apple logo. Nothing new there. As you can see, my iPod still has this default lock, and my theme, this is not the default theme, you can tell the difference, has my spin board on it, has everything on it, everything's working perfectly, let's say MX2, everything is working. Okay, so now you should have your iPod re-jailbroken. If you have not jailbroken your iPod yet, this will jailbreak your iPod, and you will only get Cydia right there. You will not get installed with this unless you had your iPod jailbroken. Next, you are going to need to download LogoMe. It is in included with the community sources of Cydia. All you have to do is go into search and put in logo me. It's all one word. Then you go into logo me. Go to start. Um, image picker did not work for me last time I did this. I had to download an image. So you will go here. Type in the exact URL. Then you just hit OK. Preparing image. Then you can just go to preview. And you'll see what it says. Just tap the screen to get out of it. And then hit flash. If you do not have red snow z um, 0 0.3, then do not do this or else you are going to have to restore your iPod. So if you are sure you can do this and you won't have to like restore your iPod, hit flash. As you can see there's a little status bar right there. All I need to do is wait for that. This does take um, about a minute. Well actually less. Okay, once the status bar is out, you can see my iPod is still working. Then all you have to do is restart it. And of course my hold button is kind of messed up. Hit power off. Turn it off. And there you go. There's my Google logo right there. Thank you for watching. Remember to take the precautions mentioned in this video. And I hope you enjoy.